Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, sorry about the background noise. I live pretty close to where the uh, Snowbirds aerial demonstration team practices here in Moose Jaw. So you might hear uh, a few of the Tudor jets flying overhead in this uh, short little video. But I want to show you uh, some things that the uh, disc brake conversion kit manufacturers really don't tell you about. So here we go. I'll just show it to you. There goes one of these planes. So I'll, I'll get to it. Bang my head. Uh, we'll get to it. I'll just show you a couple of things that you should look out for when you do this conversion with the master and the booster. So we'll turn around, we'll have a look at the car, and I'll show you what's going on. The first thing is, is that this is the uh, diagram you get for the plumbing for the new proportional valve and shuttle valve for the, uh, the uh, kit, which is installed down here already. Second, I have the, the factory book, which tells you what lines go where if you happen to forget where they, where they go. Um, and again, this may be a little bit different on uh, Camaros, Chevelles, I'm not sure, but I've remarked this book for the Nova. So the X, X frame, or the X, sorry, the X body has, has this uh, proportional valve on it, which is this one, okay, that I took out. The book shows that this back port goes to the rear brakes and this port goes to the rear reservoir which in actual fact this port goes to the rear reservoir and loops up to the reservoir and this goes to the rear rear brakes this is how this proportional valve works rear brakes and front brakes and the reservoir up here so what happens is that when you when you get all this apart uh, you've got to adapt this half inch 20 to this 3 8 24 so you need to buy an adapter that goes from 3 8 24 to half inch 20 to plumb this bottom front brake line in this front brake line is already 3 8 24 on the Nova. The rear brake one is actually 7 16 24 on the Nova and 9 16 18 on the new proportional valve. So you got to buy this adapter that goes from 9 16 18 to 7 16 24. Once you buy these two adapters, it's very simple now to come into here. There's the front adapter, and I don't know if we can get in there. There's the rear adapter, and there's enough coil in the front and rear brake line to uh, unbend it a little bit and get it in into, this, into the uh, proportional valve. So again, that's just a little tip on replumbing the power the power brake booster and master with the new proportional valve. Um, again, they don't really tell you about this in here that you need adapters. Um, and I don't know if, if Camaro, I'll get this around this way. And I don't know if, uh, I don't know if Camaro, Chevelle um, are the same as the Nova, but if you're doing a Nova from four wheel manual drum to front power disc, 
you're going to need these adapters to make the connections proper and then you don't need anything else you don't have to bend any tubing buy any tubing if your tubing is good and you should be set to go so that's just a little tip uh, thanks for watching guys like share and subscribe and we'll catch you on part two when we install all the new parts in the front the rotors the hubs the um, uh, spindles bearings seals etc We'll be doing that shortly. So thanks again for watching, and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.